Hello, everyone. If you can move up a bit. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out today on this very, very exciting day for Cupertino Community Services as we celebrate the groundbreaking of Heart of Cupertino project. This is a very exciting day for us, and we're, we hope that you can share with us in our excitement. Um, so many people have been involved in making this day possible and making this project possible. And this is an opportunity for us to recognize some of your effort. And most of, here are you, uh, most of you are here today, so thank you so much. Uh, first of all, we really appreciate the support of the city of Cupertino. This includes uh, city council members, uh, Mayor Sandra James, Vice Mayor Richard Lowenthal, Council Member Don Burnett, Council Member Michael Chang. Thank you so much for all your support. We also want to thank the Planning Commission of the City of Cupertino and the Housing Committee for supporting us through the process. We definitely, thank you. We want to thank the staff at Cupertino uh, the City, especially Carol Atwood for her guidance through the project. We could not have done it without her. Thank you so much, Carol. I also want to recognize CCS Board of Directors. I thank them for their vision. I thank them for their leadership. And at this point, I would like to ask Howard Bauman, our board president, to come up and say a few words. The Board of Directors uh, welcomes all of you. We appreciate your assistance in helping us celebrate this major occasion in the history of CCS and also of the city of uh, Cupertino. Uh, I first wanted to thank uh, our, our managing director, Jacqueline Fabre. I mean, she's brought uh, expertise and good administration to staff and the Board of Directors. We also wanted to thank Chuck Kaur, who gave us a, a tremendous amount of help uh, as board president the last two years. And basically, we want to thank all of you that helped make this day happen. Thank you. We also want to thank a few people for coming today. Uh, Assemblyman Joe Simitian is here with us. Thank you so much for coming. And also from the County of Santa Clara, Kendall Lau with Lizness Office. Thank you so much. Now, this project would not be possible without two very special individuals that we like to call the birth mothers. Uh, <laughs> they started this project, and Sandra James and Mary Ellen Shell, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the heart and the energy that you've put into this project. And Sandra James, or Mayor Sandra James, is going to come up and tell you a little bit about the birth of the project. Sandy, you can lower that by just grabbing a hole and then we'll go down. So no, that's right in the, in the hip. Down. Like that? Okay, that's okay. Okay. Um, I need to tell you that about four and a half years ago, Mary Ellen Shell came to see me with a twinkle in her eye and a dream in her heart uh, about an affordable housing project in the midi middle of Cupertino, sort of an oxymoron. And she and Jane Asher had gone to Mid Peninsula with this idea, and they had been told, you can't do it, it's impossible. And I want to tell you something, there's certain people in this town you don't want to say, you can't do it, it's impossible, because you're in big trouble. And I think Jane Asher and Mary Ellen Chell are two, and I probably am another one. Um, Mary Ellen is a wonderful example of someone who had a dream and pursued it. And she's the perfect example of how one person can make a difference. Because while all of you here played an incredibly important role in this project coming to life, actually to fruition, it takes somebody out in front, cheerleading and yelling and not giving up and 
pulling themselves off the wall and picking themselves up and going forward, 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 and bringing your board along with you and bringing your city council <laughs> along with you uh, to really make it happen. Otherwise, it dies on the vine. And I have seen examples of that over the years many, many, many times. This is probably one of the most paramount examples that I have. Marilyn, come up here with me. I don't like talking about you when you're down there. Come on. The first thing that, uh, of course, she didn't have to talk very hard to sell me on the project. And the first thing we did was look around for a piece of property. And she had her eye on this particular piece of property, which happened to be owned by someone else the county of Santa Clara. So the first person we went to talk to was our then supervisor, Joe Smidian. Come here, Joe. And I, Joe could probably tell you a little bit about that meeting uh, better than I could. Well, thank you very much. I am not a birth mother, just for the record. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, I, I remember the, the meeting well because uh, Sandy was a relatively newly elected council member at the time and called and said, you know, we ought to get together and just have a bite to eat and get to know one another a little bit better. And I said, great. And so about 30 minutes into the conversation, she said, well, now that we've gotten to know one another better, I have something I'd like to talk to you about. And she moved uh, quite directly uh, to this vision that she and Mary Ellen had had. And uh, she said, do you think we could be partners in this effort? And I said, I think it's worth a try. And what I was struck by uh, from start to finish and all the people I worked with, Mary Ellen and Sandy and folks at the fire department and the city council, and was there was a clear sense from the start that Cupertino defined its notion of community by the people who lived in this community and could live in this community. And there was a commitment to make sure that people of modest means would always be a part of this community. And for Mary Ellen and for Sandy, that was always the guiding vision. That was always what they communicated to me. And uh, my job, uh, as it was described to me by these two very persuasive women, was to make sure that as we worked our way through the process, there wasn't a slip along the way uh, and that uh, their vision could become real. So for that small piece of it that I played a role in, um, it was really a pleasure to be on the ground floor. And my thanks to all of you who built on those early efforts. Um, it's really wonderful to be able to come home and see something like this happen in my backyard. Thanks so much for all your good works. Thanks, Jeff. Just to finish the story briefly, don't go away, Mary Ellen. The next person we had to address was our fire chief, Doug Spore leader, Doug, and the fire department, who immediately jumped right on board and said, we want to be partners on this. And the firefighters that are here tonight still have offered, when we're ready to build, they would like to be participative in some way, some kind of playground facility for children or some storage unit or something uh, that is a part of CCS that has their name and their symbol on it. The way that we were able to put this project together is because I always talked about it as a community partnership. The bank jumped on. The city immediately came on. Unanimously, all of our city council members, we put aside $1.6 million, every penny we had for affordable housing, into this project because we believed in it. The county came with us. Bridge Housing came with us. All of you in the community did. And that is what I sold all along the way. It was that this is a partnership in our community, including the neighbors. And we are going to do it. And it's something that's going to be held up to everyone else that it can can be done. Silicon, Ma Silicon Valley Manufacturing Group, same reason that they wanted to be a partners, because we said this is an example of how a town can say we want to build affordable housing in the middle of our town that we can all be proud of, that we can all be a part of, simply because it's the right thing to do. So you should be very proud of this accomplishment. We are, and this is the lady that we all have to thank for it. You've heard how this project was started. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to thank a few people who brought this project to fruition. First and foremost, Dick Lowmiller. Dick, where are you? Dick came into this project at a very, very critical time, and he worked hard. Most of you here today have spoken to Dick because I'm sure Dick is out there speaking to half of Cupertino and the same amount of people in our neighborhoods and surrounding cities. Um, it is because of Dick that we are here today at the groundbreaking and also because we're going to start building sometimes next week. So thank you so much, Dick, for all hard work that you've done. 
We also want to thank Rich Housing, who's our consultant on this project. They were with us from the beginning. And they brought in their expertise about affordable housing, the professionalism, and they have been such a great help to us. We also want to thank our architect, who is here today, Rick, uh, with uh, Van, Van Meter and Williams. Thank you, Rick, for designing a wonderful apartment complex that has charm, that most of all pass the city council and city planning. <laughs> <laughs> Last but definitely not least, we want to thank the Capital Campaign Chair, Don Allen. Don has worked hard. Don has worked with passion, with commitment. Um, he has brought us over the expected um, amount of our capital campaign. Um, I would say that Don is, is, is our guardian angel, the godfather of this project. Don, can you come up here and say a few words? Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, I, too, am a birth mother of this project. <laughs> when I started to go out and talk to many of you, uh, you only used one of those words, but, uh, <laughs> but you did get your point across. Uh, I think that, that uh, the, the whole campaign, we kicked it off on the 22nd of February, uh, largely through the generosity of Steve Andrews, who, over, who underwrote a, a kickoff dinner for us. The next day I went in the hospital and I had a hip replaced, so we didn't really start the campaign for 60 days. Uh, about the last thing you ever want to do when you get everybody to a hopefully a fever pitch, is wait 60 days before you then start talking to them. But we did that. And it took about three and a half months to get from zero to well over $1.8 million. Uh, this community is a very generous one. The most money that has ever been raised for a charitable purpose in Cupertino to this point was for the YMCA campaign, which was completed a couple of years ago. They had about 150 people working on the campaign. It took about two years. They raised $1.4 million. It took us three and a half months. We had about 10 people working on the campaign. I think our cause was obviously so right, and its time had come. And, and everybody was really so very generous to us. Uh, when you're going out and talking to people about, about making contributions, you always ask them for more than you, in your wildest dreams you think they will give. Most of you gave the amount that we just prayed for. Those of you who didn't, I still have your card in my pocket and I'll be around to see you. The, uh, I think as much as anything that this is a recognition that, that our city has, has matured. We're grown up now and we can do it just the way anybody else does, only maybe a little bit better. If you'll notice the, uh, the pavers down here, and those will be installed immediately in front of, of our office building, uh, many of those on the top, I think very pleasantly, were given by families here in Cupertino. The, the Lowenthal family, the Sobrato family, uh, the Cali family, and of course, Greater Bay Bank Corp, which is my bank. We have 11 banks and we regard ourselves as a family of banks. So uh, that's the whole orientation that we've had for this campaign. It, it, obviously, we're trying to help people have a decent place to live and uh, to have a quality of life that they all deserve. Thank you, everyone. The only mistake that we made is we left out Hanson Cement, uh, they have a paver coming and I apologize to them. John, I know I'm in trouble. You don't ever want to tick off a guy who, whose business is cement overshoes. <laughs> but uh, I did manage to do that. They gave us the aggregate, they're giving us the, the uh, actual cement itself. If we can get one of the water companies to contribute some water, we'll be able to pour a foundation here very shortly. Thank you all for your generosity. Take a few minutes and look at the pavers. Uh, everybody's name who is listed here was very generous to us, and uh, you have given this community a precious gift that's going to last for many, many years into the future. Bless you all. And now the guy that made me look good in this campaign, Dick Lowmiller. I looked better before I went out to lunch and dinner with Don for uh, meal after meal talking to many of you. Everybody here, we really appreciate you. I have to do a special thanks to Doug Sporleader, the Santa Clara Fire District, for inviting us to be on their property today. 
we hoped it was ours today, but you know, there's a little bump in the road, but we hope by uh, next week. We also, uh, there's one other gentleman, in addition to Rick Williams, our dedicated architect who really had to plow upstream. We're gonna nickname him Salmon. Uh, he, in addition to Dick, somebody who's been on the project from uh, day one doing outstanding work with us is our general contractor, Dick DeGel with uh, Gresky. Dick, you wanna raise your hand? And uh, so every, everybody look at Dick. So if you have any complaints about the project, you know, <laughs> go there. Uh, we'd like to do a little ceremonial uh, groundbreaking now. Now, folks, this is like a wedding, okay? We got to do it in groups, you know, one family, then the other family. And so if I could have our birth mothers, Mary Ellen, Sandy, come forward, uh, Jacqueline Fabre, Howard Bauman representing our board. Uh, Don Allen, our major donor. Uh, do we have uh, John Sobrato here, R representative? No, Richard Lowenthal, please. Okay, I'm going to need your help on this. Whoa, was that good for you? That was good for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks. Take that mic. Now, since it's not our property and our title escrow person is here watching, we can't do anything that might put a lien on the project, so don't move a whole lot of dirt, okay? So if you guys can grab your, grab your bulldozer, we have a little pillow for you to uh, kneel on because we have a, a decorating team that won't stop, okay? Now, on the count of five, I want you guys to get ready, start your engines. And I want you, and I want you folks to uh, count down. And at the appointed number, I'd like you to push a little dirt. I hope we have a camera working here. Okay, folks, you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Push! <laughs> Thank you. Now. Since this is a wedding, uh, we could have the bride side. No, we'd like our partnering funders to come forward. This project consists of a CCS building that's been funded by our major donors. Your picture is number three. We also have a housing element, $5 million worth of affordable housing that'll be in here. And there is lots of people involved. And you know, if you're here and you represent any of them, I don't care, we want you in the picture, please. So uh, if we could get our, uh, you know, our housing funders. So anybody with a county, and I would think that would, might include a former supervisor who was a big help, <laughs> and a fire district, if you could come forward. Uh, Cupertino National Bank, who's been a big player with this project, and are also right across the street to watch us. Uh, the city of Cupertino, the city council, staff, that ought to be half of you, right? And the city of Los Altos and any representatives that are here, they're partners. The city of Sunnyvale, any partners, please come forward. The city of Santa Clara. Hey, how are you? <laughs> the uh, city of Saratoga and anybody from the Housing Trust of Santa Clara County. Okay. Okay, folks, Ch chunk in. Come on up, Vera. Vera has been our lead planner with the city. We, we know her much better than we wish to. So, <laughs> okay, guys, look like you're doing something photographically, okay? Yeah, you ready? Okay, come on, Vera, get in there. Okay, you guys tighten in. Yep. Boy, we need the we need the planning and public works. <laughs> Boy, do we need them. <laughs> okay, another five, four, three, two, one. Hey. Thank you. Okay, you're out. Now we want the people, the people who gave us hard cash. Your, your, pl your pledges do count. <laughs>
and we do hope your stock goes up so you can make your pledges. Uh, so if you're part of our major donors, please come forward because you are really the folks that have made our project happen. Can we have our major donors please? Lauren, Dor Stowe's, Ron. Tom, Ron, Nick. find them Don. Really? We have some bashful, th we got your names down here. <laughs> Who else is back there? Phyllis. Phyllis? Gotta have her move the dirt. Yeah. Jane. Jane. Pull her, grab her. Jane. Mary Ellen. Yeah, Mary Ellen. Yeah. John. John. Thank you. John. Where's John? Here he's coming. Uh, Richard, I think this includes you too. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, come on, grab a tractor. Come on, grab a tractor. Ah, uh, Carolyn, you're looking good. <laughs> you guys ready? Come on, come on, Jane, get in here. Quit being bashful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, one last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Push! Okay, folks, thank you so much. This has been great. Jacqueline, do you have a wrap-up word? She didn't, but she will. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> thank you so much.